my ladies and pretty gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm with yours truly, Light. Today I have a story about deep, deep confusion. It's almost the kind of confusion that the, the potter and the clay go through. There's been an energy that you've been allowing in your life. Almost like God would allow some people to just go about their business thinking that they're getting away with things. I'm hearing a strong message about, did you forget like who your God is? Did you forget who made you, who gave you this room to play? There is an energy where a strong delusion is coming to an end. There's, you've allowed someone some energy this could be an energy attachment this could be an actual person a a demon that you've concocted you allowed it to sort of play along thinking that it was actually pulling your strings when in reality you were the creator of it you were the one pulling the string there's an energy in your life that believed they had one over you or they believed that they were the ones running the circus but the funny thing is I don't know if you guys have seen this series, Twilight Zone, but there is an episode where someone, this woman, creates uh, an imaginary dream man. And this dream man she created because she lost creativity. She lost the passion for her work and her life. I promise you I'm getting to a point here because this message has been repeating for the last week and I need to deliver it. She creates this dream man. So this dream man comes about and he starts to create art and all that stuff and gives her back this feeling that she had lost about her work. But the thing is, this dream man believes that he's actually the real one, the real person, and she's the dream girl that he's concocted, that she's the sketch instead of him. So eventually, he starts to become extremely crazy and chaotic and he tries to control every aspect of her life. This is this energy I'm talking about that you created, that you birthed, has tried to sort of crop you to its reality. But you created it in the time when you needed it. You brought this person, if it's a person close to you or this situation close to you, in a time when your spirit, your higher self, needed some type of play toy some type of thing to give you a boost of creativity because some of you are just really weird like that you're just so free-flowing in your creation you don't take life that seriously you want to see things from all these different perspectives even if that means seeing it from the perspective of a demon i'm just gonna say it plainly and eventually now this is where i'm heading because i just made a video And you can see that it's kind of like a roundabout for this one, which is a deeper dive about how certain things, certain programs that we've created in order to assist us into this transition that we're in now are no longer viable. So these energies, these people that you've probably created or have built up from the ground up, you've allowed them to sort of play in your circus, have started to believe that you are the circus monkey. They've started to cross their boundaries so much so to the point where they've forgotten who their creator is, who their God is. And this is where the series kind of ends is when he he realizes, she tells him, well, you don't really know, do you? And he's like, what do you mean? Because he was controlling her. He was like, well, this is the boundary. I created you. You're the dream girl. You can't leave the house anymore. You can't do this anymore. He was starting to dictate everything that she was doing. And she was like, oh my God, you really don't know. You really don't know, do you? Like, I created you because I lost creativity. And she shows him the sketch of him. And he starts to freak out because she's now erasing him with an eraser. A lot of you are doing that. Like, there's been a bargain that has happened, right? Whether you needed some people or you needed some kind of energy attachment that you've been entertaining, it has served its purpose. And... The transition that you're going through right now, it's so profound because you're beginning to truly embody all the elements of yourself, your higher self that at one point you might have been scared to dive into. And it's not an embarrassing thing to say. It's not it's not horrible because there's a lot of responsibility that comes with the amount of power that you've been trying to 
sort of create a nice bouncing off or a, a runway path for. And now you are okay with embodying the responsibility of the role that you are born to play. So these energies are realizing, oh my God, you've been allowing me to play. You've been allowing me to attach myself to you. And it's so much painful for them because they actually believe like they're now these attachments, these it, it could be some demons for some of you, actual entities. And for others, it could be people who have completely, you know, fallen into their lower selves. Take it out resonates, but it's going to be difficult for them because they believe that they were ruling over you to some extent because you allowed them to. You gave them the illusion. This reminds me a long time ago, I had this prophetic dream where someone an energy was speaking through me and it wasn't just me it was a, a several people on a bridge i've mentioned this on tiktok a long time ago and it was in india there was a lot of people just shoulder to shoulder crammed i'm talking like an arena several arenas worth of people they were all throwing their hands in the air screaming in chaos because for some reason the resources had ran out and they couldn't live anymore and they were all just screaming and screaming. Some politicians decided to talk to them. These were among the people that were on the bridge. And these people were still talking over them. They didn't listen. They didn't care. And all of a sudden, I show up. And I show up after having visited this creature in the woods. It was this old, run-down being, this old god that people have been worshipping, wrongfully so. And he tells me to deliver this message to the people did you forget who your god is up until today i really didn't know what that meant like did you forget who your god was that was the only message i was supposed to deliver so i went into that bridge and when i started to speak there was multiple voices coming out of me but it was one voice and it only said did you forget who your god is a lot of people are out here actually living on top on top of the backs of other people People that have been for so long given the the power to be able to sit in the bottom. I'm going to say that again. They've been given the power to sit in the bottom because they know something. They know who they are. There are people who are born knowing who they are. Yet God has allowed the shenanigans, the circus to play out because he wanted that moment like God, she, it, the one wanted that moment where people have had their say they've shown their face and when i say that we're about to see the very ugly side as you move into this transition as you actually embody the fullness of your highest self and your power and you move past this portal you're going to see the ugliest side of some people because they genuinely believed that they created you or they believed they had control over you that they had control to pull your strings because you made them believe that out of sheer curiosity that you may have been playing along with your higher self out of sheer willingness to play the game of the universe to see where the cards fall if nobody was actually forcing people to act a certain way so that time has come that time where a lot of us are beginning to genuinely take that eraser like this woman did in that twilight zone series and erase the creatures that we've created, erase the monsters that we've created, or the monsters we've created either in the spirit world, for some of us, or the monsters we've created or cultivated in other people who have been okay operating in their lower self. That eraser moment is here. And it's funny because you're not really doing it from outside in, you're doing it from inside, to the point where you're saying, I really don't need this anymore. Like, I've tangled with this energy enough to really know something about myself, to study this element about myself and to master it. You've mastered that part. And through this portal, these energies aren't going to be able to follow you because they're a figment. In so many ways, they're not even real. And the only power they had was you telling them that they were real. Was you either not saying anything for them to just believe that they're real to concoct their own illusions and delusions about you or you telling them co constantly confirming them giving them the confidence that they are real that they can do it 
And you did this because you are that powerful. You did this because you don't have anything to lose. Like nothing can be taken out of you. And these energies have been so desperate to try to w tear you down because deep down they know they're a figment of your imagination. Deep down they know their existence is hinged upon you needing them. Upon you needing them as basically a source of creativity for you. So this is why I speak about these energies. We're not... Dualism is, is, is a game for those who have transcended. Dualism is merely a dance. And we've entered that realm is what I'm talking about. Where you can at will erase these things that you don't need. And draw them back if you want. Because it's not personal. You are here in the experiential realm. You are here literally as the experiencer. You can sit down and witness without feeling like you are part of the game. But these energies, they believed that not only were you a part of the game, but they believed that they had created you, that they had you know, molded you to their liking because you allowed them to believe that. That kind of delusion is falling apart. It's falling apart. And for those of you that it was a people situation, you're about to see the ugly side of these people. I'm talking to the point where they're going to display an immense amount of violent kind of control or they're going to completely disappear. It's going to be either or. Or they're going to have to transcend with you because they've been, they've been allowed space only because you gave them a little bit of your power, a little bit of your chi. You, you literally created them and they thought that they created you. That's the story I'm hearing today. And so when I was on that bridge telling them, did you forget your God? Did you forget who your God was? Now I'm realizing what it actually meant. It meant that they were, they were suffering because they didn't want to accept the fact that they were a creation of something far greater than themselves. They were trying to take the role of something that, at the same time, they were disrespecting. I hope this resonated. Let me know how you feel about it. And as usual, I don't reach out for readings at all, ever. Not on YouTube, not on TikTok, nowhere. If you would like a personal reading from me, the email is in the description box, as usual. So is my book, Sad Girl and all other social media platforms that you might be interested in checking out. Until next time, ciao.